Here's a story that was prominent in various newspapers, including The Sun, which reported that thousands of hospital patients were in danger of catching deadly superbugs. The reason, at three universities, female medical students were questioning new rules to roll up their sleeves when they washed their hands. I travelled to Leicester University, one of the places patients were supposed to be at risk, to find out what was going on. It's got a high proportion of Muslim students and is therefore something of a hunting ground for journalists looking for Muslim stories. One student had asked a question about what the regulations were um, and uh, she had not objected to them, she just asked about them. This had got recorded and had spiralled into a story about Muslim students being unhappy about the whole procedure. Well, that wasn't the case at all. Dr Paul Simons oversees the medical school. I've discussed this with our junior staff, I've discussed it with our ward sister. I was met with blank incomprehension when I suggested that Muslims weren't doing this. The Sun newspaper. Thousands of hospital patients are in danger of catching deadly superbugs because Muslim medical students refuse to follow new hygiene rules. All I can say, it's not my experience. I haven't seen it. I work in our own wards in the oncology department. I consult in the wards in this hospital. I consult at Leicester General Hospital. I don't see it. End of story. Muslims comply with the rules. We were very quick to try and issue a statement to refute uh, these stories. We issued that statement to, to every media that actually carried the negative story. Um, but it won't surprise you to know that our statement was not carried. It was just the, the allegation that was uh, carried. So the, the, the fact that you had denied the story, that you put it in a context, you said what had actually happened, yeah. that was not covered at all? No, it wasn't. I went to Leicester University Hospital and talked to Muslim medical students. Nabila Khan and Shoab Isan are British and were born in Britain. They say they don't know any Muslim medical students who have refused to wash their arms, and if they exist, they should quit. Spread them out for us and just pop them down. No obvious uh, deformity or swelling. They said that the story had made them feel not wanted in their own country. I'm British, I was born here and that's it. End of. Mm -hmm. But obviously when you read comments like that, it makes, it makes you feel upset. Well, why are people saying this? I'd, same with me, it's just, obviously it's not going to change that I'm British and it's not going to change the fact that I've lived here all my life, but it's just... They still don't see you as one of them sometimes. Yeah. Even with 9-11, Muslims didn't agree with it. What happened was horrible and it should never have happened. And, and none of us would condone it, so why are we being painted with the same paintbrush as them? They were terrorists, you know, we're not. I'm British and I'm tremendously proud to be British and part of being British means being decent, being tolerant and being compassionate of our fellow citizens and I'm beginning to feel ashamed and angry at the way we're singling out a, a small minority with false accusations and vulgar abuse. <laughs>